Hello. In this video, I'll introduce a new term, the connectivity of a graph. I'll motivate this uh, with some discussion of what we've looked at before. We'll look at a few examples, and finally we'll prove theorem uh, 4.1. Prove this theorem, which gives us a, uh, a sufficient condition for a graph to be k-connected. So let's, let's introduce this stuff. So in terms of motivating this, recall that a non-separable graph, G, uh, is a graph such that none of its vertices are cut vertices. Right? The removal of any one vertex from the graph um, does not disconnect the graph. Right? Removal of any vertex leaves a connected graph. And remember that if we have a tree of order at least three, it has to contain a cut vertex. And so any, uh, any tree of order at least three is a, a separable graph, right? It contains a cut vertex. So in some senses, we can say uh, that a non-separable graph is like more connected or more strongly connected than a tree. Or in general, that a non-separable graph is more connected, more strongly connected than a separable graph. So the idea of the connectivity of a graph is a measure of how much it's connected in this sense. So there's more to the story than just separable versus non-separable, right, containing cut vertices and not containing cut vertices, um, in terms of measuring the connectedness of a graph. We can sort of take these non-separable graphs and form a hierarchy of them in terms of how connected they are. So place all of these in a larger hierarchy. So that motivates the following definition. Rather than just a cut vertex, a vertex cut or a cut set uh, of a non-complete graph G is a set of uh, vertices whose removal is uh, disconnected, leaves a disconnected graph. And then a vertex cut of minimum cardinality is called a minimum vertex cut, of course, nothing too special there. Um, and then this measure of connectedness is going to be the cardinality of a minimum vertex cut. So we call this the vertex connectivity of a graph G, or simply just the connectivity of G. Uh, so this is kind of hinting towards the next uh, idea in the next video, which will be the edge connectivity of a graph. But here we're just focusing on vertex connectivity. It's the, uh, the cardinality uh, of a minimum vertex cut. So the smallest number of edges, uh, or sorry, the smallest number of vertices in a vertex cut whose uh, removal disconnects the graph. So a, a quick note on this, what about a complete graph? Um, in a complete graph such as, let's say, um, let's say K4, well, in, in a complete graph, this is sort of one of the most highly connected graphs uh, I, there's no way to disconnect this graph, right? There is no vertex cut of this thing. So no vertex cuts. So what do we define as its, um, as its connectivity? If it doesn't have any vertex cuts, there's no minimum vertex cut. So what is its, uh, what is its cardinal, uh, its, its connectivity? Well, we define it to be Define the connectivity of Kn to B n minus 1. Uh, a note on notation really quick. So the connectivity of a graph G, we usually use the, uh, the symbol kappa, the Greek letter kappa, to indicate the minimum cardinality of a vertex cut. So I'll draw my kappa like this. Uh, here, kappa of G is the connectivity. And so here we can say we're defining the connectivity of a complete graph. Let me try and draw my kappa a little bit better here. Connectivity of a complete graph to be n minus 1. So in general, what we'll define as the connectivity is um, either uh, the minimum vertex cut leaves either a disconnected graph or a trivial graph. Um, so let me try and make that uh, clear. So in general, 
the connectivity of a graph. G is the smallest number of vertices whose removal from G results in either a disconnected graph or a trivial graph. So we'll add that condition uh, to the idea of vertex cuts to, to connectivity, and that'll include um, complete graphs. So here, K4, um, the connectivity of K4, well, I can remove three vertices and leave a trivial graph, leave just a single vertex, and so the connectivity of K4 is three, and in general, N minus one. So for all graphs, any graph G, the connectivity is between zero, and I'll talk a little in a second here about what would be zero connectivity of zero, less than or equal to N minus one. So we just saw, yeah, connectivity of a graph is N minus one, uh, if and only if it's complete, and it's zero if it's disconnected. So let's take a look at a couple examples. So here I have G1. It is a tree. So I know it contains cut vertices. In particular, this guy's a cut ver vertex. So maybe I'll label these A, B, C, D, E, and F. Then uh, C is a vertex cut. I'll put in a set. Uh, of order one. So in particular, it's a minimum vertex cut. And so we can say that the connectivity of this tree here is equal to one. So that is separable graphs. In general, connectivity of G equals one if G is separable. So all trees would fit into this this category. Uh, G2 here is a disconnected graph, so it's already uh, it's already disconnected, and so a minimum vertex cut would be of uh, of size zero. I don't have to remove any edges, so the empty set is a vertex cut. So the connectivity of G2 here would be equal to zero. So in general, disconnected graphs, uh, connectivity of G equals zero if G is disconnected or trivial. Right, technically with our, with our modified definition, just K1 would be a trivial graph, and so I wouldn't have to remove any vertices to result in a disconnected or trivial graph, and so the connectivity of K1 is equal to zero as well. I'll take a look at G3 here, and you can kind of scan your eyes over the vertices and imagine removing any one vertex from the graph and see that this is non-separable, right? There's, there are no cut vertices. However, the collection of two vertices, U and V, UV is a vertex cut, right? It results in a disconnected graph. In particular, W would be a component is a vertex cut. Um, and so since it's non-separable, this is a minimum vertex cut. And so the connectivity here of G3 would be equal to two. So non-separable implies that the connectivity is not equal to two, but at least, at least two. It takes at least two vertices to disconnect it because non-separable means there's no cut vertex. So no cut, no vertex cut of uh, size one. Finally, the last example we'll look at here is the Peterson graph, and we'll think about what is the uh, what is the connectivity of the Peterson graph. I'm actually going to call this one P for Peterson graph. So notice it, it is non-separable, and if you just sort of run your eyes over any pair of vertices, removing any pair of vertices from this graph, 
you'll see that no two vertices, uh, there is no vertex cut of size two or of order two. No vertex cut of cardinality two. But let me label, say, x, y, and z. If I remove these three vertices that are adjacent with this one vertex, maybe I'll call this u, um, for example, x, y, z is a vertex cut. Right? It would leave u in a component. It would disconnect the graph. So the connectivity of p is equal to three. So it's important to keep in mind here what exactly connectivity is, right? It's, it's a minimum cardinality. So in order to establish that the connectivity of a graph is, is any number, let's say k, you need to show two things. You need to show that there is a vertex cut of cardinality k, like I did here. And you also have to have an argument uh, that any vertex cut of smaller cardinality of k will leave a connected non-trivial graph. So there's two things that need to be shown for connectivity, both of those things. And then you can establish the connectivity of a graph. Now oftentimes uh, we don't we don't really need something as strong as connectivity, right? This is the minimum cardinality of a vertex cut. But in a lot of cases, we just want to know sort of how connected a graph is. Um, and so this is the idea of k-connectedness. So a graph is said to be k-connected for k greater than or equal to 1 if its connectivity is at least k. So that is, a graph is k-connected if the removal of fewer than k vertices results in neither a disconnected nor a trivial graph. So if uh, uh, the connectivity of a graph G is equal to, say, k, or uh, let me use a different one. Let's say the connectivity of a graph is L. then we know that the removal of any L minus one vertices will, will not result in a disconnected nor a trivial graph. And so we can say G is, um, is L connected, right, fewer than K vertices. So we can say G is L connected. We can also say G is L minus one connected. And in general, G would be uh, K connected for any K less than or equal to L. K for any K less than or equal to L. So in some sense, we can consider the connectivity of a graph to be the maximum of all the Ks for which G is K connected, right? Connectivity is always greater than or equal to k for any uh, k uh, for which g is k connected. So just saying a graph is, say, uh, k connected for some k doesn't guarantee uh, that there are k vertices which uh, disconnect the graph. It does, however, guarantee that the removal of any fewer than k vertices will not disconnect the graph and will not leave a trivial graph. So it's sort of a little bit weaker than connectivity, but oftentimes this is a property we want to look at. So let me go back to this, uh, this example here with G3. So we said its connectivity was 2, and so it's 2 connected. It's also 1 connected, right? The, so 1 connected in general right here. Uh, the connectivity of this tree, it was a separable graph, was 1. And so we can say G1 is also 1 connected. And um, so just yeah, to try and make this clear, so um, 1 connected um, graphs uh, or maybe I need to say this the other way. So separable graphs are one connected um, 
Non-separable graphs are also one connected, uh, but they're also two connected. Um, yeah, what else do I want to say there? Right, so two connected graphs. If a graph is two connected, it means the removal of any one vertex will not disconnect the graph or leave a trivial graph. So two connected graphs um, are the non-separable graphs. of order three or more. This is the idea of k-connected k graphs. So, okay, to finish off this video, let's prove this theorem, which tells us, uh, it gives us a sufficient condition for a graph g to be k-connected. So let g be a graph of order n, and let k be an integer between 1 and n minus 1. Uh, so if the degree of uh, every vertex is at least the ceiling of n plus k minus 2 all over 2, uh, then g is k connected. Okay, so how does this work? We're proving this to see sort of what the general picture is uh, for a k connected graph. And actually, you know what, this video is a little bit long already. I'm going to save this proof for the next video. I'm going to split this one up. All right, I'll see you there.